Please stand, face the flag, put your right hand over your heart, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bears. Congrats on making it to Friday. Today we have some on-campus announcements, volunteer opportunities, and another special feature for Hispanic Heritage Month. So stick around to the end to find out. I'm Olivia Black. And I'm Connie Akins. Today is Friday, September 27th, and Good Morning John Burrow starts right now. Welcome back. Starting off our show today, we have some volunteer opportunities for this weekend. The Burbank Arts and Education Foundation is looking for some volunteers for their booth at the Burbank Pride event tomorrow. Volunteers will be needed making bracelets and taking pictures. If you're interested in joining, visit the Career Center Google Classroom. In other campus news today is the final day of accepting temporary lunch passes. You must pick up your permit lunch passes to be allowed to leave starting next week. To get your permit pass, please visit the student service at lunch. Students, Burroughs Got Talent is tonight. Show up and support your friends from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets will be $10 with an ASB card and $15 without. Get your tickets either at the student store during school, online in the web store, or even at the door. We hope to see you there, Bears. Moving on to some programs on campus, the JBHS2 team is holding a fundraiser at Chipotle this Sunday. Visit the Chipotle on Riverside between 5 p.m. and 9 p.m. on Sunday night. You'll be ordering, if you'll be ordering online, use the code on the fundraising flyer to have your order account towards the cheer team. Moving on to some senior announcements. Seniors, the time has come to begin planning for your graduation ceremony. The Johnson's graduation packets have been sent out to the senior families. Use the link found in the bulletin to order now and get the best savings on all your graduation items. You can order items until October 16th. Johnson's will also be on campus on Tuesday in the quad during lunch to showcase their graduation products and answer your questions about ordering. Speaking of graduation, we have some college representatives on campus today and more coming up soon. Today we have a representative from ASU Los Angeles at 9 a.m. in the computer lab for any juniors or seniors interested in asking about fashion or film. Also today at lunch, UCSB will have a representative in the Career Center at 1.30 p.m. On Thursday, October 3rd, UC Riverside will be here at 10.30 a.m. in room 1207 followed by the University of San Francisco at 11.08 a.m. in the Career Center. You must sign up on the Career Center Google Classroom to receive a call slip, and call slips are required for attendance. If you have any questions, feel free to email Ms. Miranda at shannonmirando at burbankusd.org. Now we have some club news. The Improv Club will meet today at lunch in room 6101. There's a Fellowship of Christian Athletes meeting in the gym during lunch. While Confections for a Cause will gather in room 2207, the Women Against Violence Club is also meeting at lunch today in room 1209. Don't forget the Chess Club meets every Friday in Mr. Nolan's room 1145. Lastly, the Architecture Club will hold its first official meeting next Monday during lunch in room 1140 to discuss plans for the year and get some snacks. Now we have Liam Chattis with a story on the family behind Burbank's most popular bakery, Portos. Good morning, Bears. In today's feature, we are highlighting one woman and family who have made a large impact in our local community. Porto's is a popular and beloved chain of Cuban bakeries with one of their six LA locations right here in Burbank. If you have heard of Porto's, you've likely heard of their savory potato balls and their sweet dulce de leche cookies. But behind the restaurant's astounding success was a woman named Rosa Porto. Rosa Porto was born in Cuba in 1930, where she grew to love baking cakes and pastries. Rosa and her husband, Raul Porto, were short on money, but dreamed of moving to the U.S. In Cuba, Rosa would sell cakes to her neighbors and friends, and eventually, in 1971, they were able to emigrate to the U.S., where they started their new life in California. In 1976, after being given a small loan, Raul and Rosa opened their first Porto's Bakery on Sunset Boulevard. 
This first bakery was small, but thanks to Rose's dedication and Raul's strong business ethic, Porto's grew more and more successful and eventually spread throughout LA. Now, Porto's has establishments in Glendale, Burbank, Downey, Buena Park, West Covina, and Northridge. With the expansion of Porto's, Rosa was able to make a living off of baking while also bringing over a taste of Cuban culture to California. Sadly, in 2019, Rosa passed away, and earlier this year, Raul also passed away. Today, their children keep their legacy going by working to keep Porto's quality and never sacrificing authenticity. In 2021, Porto's Bakery was voted Best Bakery in the Southland according to the Los Angeles Times. In addition, Porto's is planning a new location in downtown Disney to open next year. For GMJB, this is Liam Chaitis reporting. Thanks, Liam. Well, Bears, that's all we have for you today. We hope you had a fantastic week and spend the weekend supporting your fellow Bears. Good luck to football who are on the road tonight against Glendale. Also, check out our Instagram, at Nutrition, for the latest edition of Bear Necessities. I'm Olivia Black. And I'm Con Akins. Have a wonderful weekend, Bears.